Hello and welcome back to Fallout. Last time, we managed to save a Ditem. We talked to everyone in a Ditem and was like, Oh, how are you guys doing? They said that they would help us and they didn't because they're pricks. But anyway, a Ditem is saved and we came to the hub where we found, amazingly, to our greatest happiness, the greatest thing I've ever seen in a long, long while. Rope! It's here! Look at it! It's a strong, thick line, about 45 feet in length, and it weighs about 10 pounds. Wow, that actually weighs a lot. Admittedly, it is. It's only 45 feet, feet of rope, isn't it? That's a lot for 45 feet of rope. My goodness. Anyway, we are heading to the glow. So come on, Ian. Let's go. Off to the glow we go to get the thing for the Brotherhood of Steel so that we can become part of the Brotherhood of Steel. Which will be happy, we'll get some armor, no doubt, or, I mean, we might not get any armor, that would be bad. I would be very unhappy if we didn't get power armor. Oh, look, several rats. Ian, no need to waste ammo on this. And you better, my lord, you had better stand and fight, Ian. If you do not stand and fight these rats, oh, good god, Ian, you're done. You're done, it's over. You're done. Can I vats these guys? Oh lord, I can. We're going to strike at them with the greatest shot in the world. There's only a 35% chance to hit, but I trust myself. Get him in the eyes! Oh, we missed. Okay, fine. We'll stop trying to hit them in the eyes. I want to punch them in the eyes really badly, though. That's the thing. I want to... Oh, god. We only did one damage, didn't we? Oh, that's sad. Hey, rat. Just, just eat it. Just don't even, don't even think about not eating this. Oh, the other rats apparently have not noticed that I was here. Which is a good thing, because that'll make it really easy to shoot the other ones. Prepare to die, rat. Your insolence is disgusting. Ian, I'm going to deal with you afterwards. We need to have a chat. Ooh, 34 damage to a rat. Definitely caved his entire skull in. Other rat. Eat that. Very good, very good. We have done the job of killing a bunch of rats. Ian, we need to have a chat, Ian. Um, currently, your work has been less than satisfactory with us. Uh, you seem to feel that it's a good idea to simply run for your life every time anything shows up. Unfortunately, Ian, you're not going to be able to run away from this. Eat it, Ian. You're dead. Don't, don't try to run from me, Ian. You can't run from me. You brought this upon yourself, Ian. Ian. Ian, just, just die, Ian. Please, please just die. You, you have to understand that there's no reason to keep you around anymore. I have put you down, Ian. You are a little prick and you are now dead. Very good, Ian is dead. Thank God for that. Whew, now maybe we can find someone a bit more useful than Ian. Oh, we're at capacity, are we? Oh, let's just take his caps and leave the rest. Who cares, Ian? I guess you were of decent service for a short while. I guess we should say a few words over you. Ian, you're a prick. You've always been a prick. You always will be a prick, and when you are in the ground, pricky little flowers shall grow from your grave. Goodbye, Ian. Goodbye. I will not shed a single tear in your name. Okay, we've left Ian on the ground, dead, because he ran from a pack of rats. If you run from a pack of rats, you are not worth bringing on adventures. That's just the case. Oh, look. Apparently, Ian's family was not terribly happy about the fact that I killed Ian. Unfortunately, I don't care about what Ian's family thinks, because I am more powerful than Ian's family. And when you are more powerful than Ian's family, you simply shoot them to death. Ian's family, please stop shooting me. I would like to shoot you back. It's only customary in the wastes that if you get a shot off, the other person gets to get a shot off. I know you don't want that to happen because my shots are significantly more powerful than yours are, but oh, unfortunately it has to happen. That is how this works. 
You survived? Guess I'm not even mad, actually. I mean, that's actually kind of impressive in the end. I would not have expected a single one of you to survive that situation. However, you're not going to survive getting away, that I can assure you. You are dead. And you, you are also dead. Um, you need to understand that the killing of, who are you, like Ian's uncle? So the killing of your stepson, stepson? Is that even the right term when someone's an uncle? I don't even know. Anyway, the killing of your family member was quite necessary because he was a prick. He didn't do anything, you need to understand. If he were in this battle with you right now, I know you can't hear me anymore because you're dead, but anyway. If he were in this battle with you right now, he would run for his life. He wouldn't make it very far because he is, of course, trying to run from me. But, you know, he would try to run nonetheless. Okay. Now that it appears that Ian's family has thoroughly understood why Ian needed to die. I mean, no one's saying that they don't understand anymore because um, they're not really saying anything at all. Which is kind of rude if you were to think about it. I mean, if I ask them a question, I do expect them to answer. Jeez, guys, you are so terribly rude, it's ridiculous. I shall take my leave from you heathens and return to the wastes. Which is the best place to be at this point. It's definitely better than being with Ian's family, that is for sure. Okay, we are making our way slowly through the mountains. Of course, there are many crags and cliffs to climb. We do have... Five times, uh, 225 feet of rope, I do believe, which is quite impressive. Oh, look. The ground ahead is littered with debris. Looks like an old battle. Does look like an old battle, doesn't it? And guess what we found? Some rad scorpions. Guess what the rad scorpions have found? Nothing! Because you're dead! And you're also blind. That's... That was supposed to be the punchline. It was, it was just supposed to be blind, but... I mean, you can't find anything if you're dead either, so... There you go. Both rad scorpions are now dead. We are now capable of looting the battlefield... For ourselves. Oh, these are just peasants? What about you? Do you have anything? I don't think any of them have anything. What do we got here? 10 millimeter JHP. Is that what our weapon uses? I think our weapon does, in fact, use 10 millimeter JHP. Unfortunately, we do not have the space to carry it. Zombie, gu zombie guard? That sounds amazing. Why couldn't I have fought a zombie guard? Jeez. Why'd the rad scorpions get to eat the zombie guard and I didn't? Ugh. Terrible. Oh, my lord. I'm not even fighting you guys. Peace, rats. I'm out of here. Just leave me be. I'm gonna go out into the wastes. Maybe find my death. Maybe not. Regardless, rats, I have no interest in fighting you. Only one of them seems to be um, manly enough to come and try to fight me. Should probably put him down just in case he leads a rat revolt in the future. We had to kill their leader because that was obviously their leader. It was their champion. The one rat they had sent to try to kill us. Okay, here we go. The glow. Last we were here, we had Ian with us. So I'd say overall, it's a better situation at this point. Right, we are receiving large doses of radiation. I forgot about that. That's probably not good. Okay. Rad X. Let's take some... Rad X. Let's take some... Uh, rat away as well. That should be good. Okay. Now we're probably not going to die of radiation poisoning. I would hope. We've taken all of our rad drugs. Just about the only drugs I will take because otherwise I'm a clean man. Outside of the 20, 30 needles I stick in my arm every time I fight something of any value. But I would like to say that those are not necessarily... Uh, the worst things that one could do. Okay, what do we got down here? Ooh, a man in a suit of power armor. How intriguing. Would there happen to be any threats to my livelihood down here? 
any at all? Hmm. Not in this room, that's for sure. But there are lockers. Which are not a threat to my livelihood, but they are pretty much my livelihood overall. That is where I get most of my stuff. One single stim pack. And I can't even carry it because I'm full! My inventory is full of stuff! Why would it be full of stuff? What am I carrying that's so heavy? What are we going to drop? Geiger counter. I'm never going to use that. Drop it, take a stim pack. What do you mean I'm at maximum weight capacity? I just dropped a Geiger counter. How much does a stim pack weigh? Oh, let's drop these things. All of them. Done. Leave them here. Take a stim pack. Whatever. Whatever you're gonna say I'm at full weight capacity. Go eat it. I'm gonna go get the stuff. I sense there's a trap near. Uh, it would probably have been best if I didn't immediately open that door after I sense the trap. But I'm not dead, which means it's not the end of the world. I swear. <laughs> I swear. Okay, let's see what we got up here. We will have to take note of that trap, though, because uh, that trap could try to kill us later. Dude, that computer's running, isn't it? Ah, huh, you don't see that every day. Door is welded too tight for you to open it. Would we happen to have maybe some TNT on hand? Any? No? Yes? No? Oh. Fine. Ow! That hurt. I've just blown up. Good God. Why would you do that? What do we got here? What in the heck is that? Oh, a yellow pass key. Kind of looked like, I don't even know, like congealed vomit. Something along those lines. Cannot pick that up. You are at carrying capacity. Good God. Okay, let's get rid of all of these cells. Done. Is that good enough? No. Hmm. What is this? Psycho. I don't need psycho. What's psycho? I don't even know what psycho is. Why would I take something that I don't even know what it is? What's that? 14 millimeter AP. That's the ammo we use for our gun, isn't it? We probably shouldn't drop that. Just thinking about the entire situation. Let's drop all of that. Can we take it now? Yes, we can. And we'll take that thing, which I didn't even check what that was. What do we got here? Let's see. Primary power offline. Secondary power online. Oh. Power management. Primary power? Let's reinitialize the primary power. Is this a good idea? I don't actually know. Error. Primary system failed. Diagnose. Tell me why! Zero feed return. Inoperable. Generator level six. Uh, the generator is down. Emergency power. Disable the emergency power. Hmm. I realize that there's a good chance I can't actually use that elevator when the emergency power is off. Should probably turn it back on so we can go down the uh, elevator. No doubt it'll also turn on a plethora of terrible, terrible traps. It would be quite interesting to know what bore that hole in it. Think it's some sandworms? Could be a bunch of sandworms. No one said there weren't. Ow! Yeah, that'd be the trap I sensed. What is this? You get a mild shock from the electric field of the door and take a point of damage. Oh. Okay, so we do need to turn off the emergency power. Darn it! Darn it, I overthought the entire situation. I was doing the right thing. Of course I was doing the right thing. I had to go out of my way to turn off the power. Oh, good lord. Of course that was correct. Power management, emergency power, disable. What if we... <laughs> I say, I wonder if we can barter with the computer, but we probably can't barter with the computer. If we could, I mean, that would probably be the greatest thing to come out of gaming since, like, I don't know, sliced bread, which apparently came out of gaming. 
The elevator is inoperable. It seems to need power. Oh god. Oh god. Give me a second. Oh god! What do you mean it needs power? I just turned off the power so I could get in here! Oh lord! Oh, can we use that on there? Oh, good lord. Yep. So, the yellow pass key is necessary to get into the elevator. Oh, why didn't I try that first? Oh, Lord. No, just give it a second, people. Give it one solid moment. Don't don't worry about it. Just just wait for a moment, and I will turn back the immunity... Oh, wow. Turn back on the emergency power, which has now been done. And away we go. Downwards. Oh, good lord. Maybe if we had had Ian, we could have had him stay by the emergency power and just turn it on and off. Although, just thinking about it, he would probably run for his life from the emergency power in reality. Okay, we're probably on level one, so let's go down to level two. Hmm. Hmm. Is it just me or do those look like robots? I think we got some robots. Let's examine this computer. What do we got? Primary and secondary power. Let's uh disable the emergency power. Just immediately disable it. Perhaps that will prevent the terrible robots from coming online. That would be great. Let's see. Hello, robots. Ow! That hurt. Okay. Well, it only did one hit point of damage. Can I shoot these things? Uh, oh, yeah. Look, they're sentry robots. You would say, oh, stop metagaming, you little prick. Why are you metagaming? There's no reason to metagame in this situation. You're not even in danger. But I would say it would be a good idea to eliminate these creatures so that they didn't wake up. Nope. Bored already. Oh, I have to kill that one, though, don't, though, don't I? It's like, it's a matter of principle. I started shooting it. I have to end it. Oh, good God, I missed. Literally, it's not even moving. I guess it was just too dark for me to be able to see where it was. How do I miss a shot when your enemy's not even moving? Come on, now. Good Lord, these things take a beating. Oh, it's dead now. Let's see what it had. What do you have? A rifle? Why would why would a sentry robot even need a rifle? Good god. Okay. Let's go see what's in this next room. Actually, thinking about it, we probably don't even need to turn the power back on, do we? Probably don't need to shoot them at all. Oh look, some personal combat armor. Don't even care. I already have it. I'm literally wearing it. Got a couple grenades. Okay. What have we got in here? Couple rockets. Okay, so this appears to be the armory of some sort. Perhaps we should take the grenades just in case we come upon another rusted door. We can try those on it. Maybe a good idea, maybe a terrible idea. It could kill us. Given my track record so far, I would say there's a good chance that it would kill me dead. <laughs> Which would be unfortunate. Huh. This is a much smaller hole than it was up above. That gives the small impression that it came from the surface, meaning very likely a missile came in here and absolutely wrecked house. Missiles do tend to do that, you know, wrecking house and all that. It's kind of what they do. Anything up here? Anything of any interest? Anybody? Anybody? Questions? No? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. Is there anything on your... There's explosives on this guy's corpse! That's like, oh, well, this woman's corpse, I guess. Because it, it said it was a woman. How couldn't you tell if it's a woman? Look at that! It's charred to pieces! I wouldn't be able to tell if that was a woman. Come on now, mate. Jeez. Let's just drop the medical bag. Who cares? We got C4. Jeez. Does that mean that all of these guys have things on them? 
got a grenade. Nobody cares about a grenade. What is that? Flamethrower fuel? What is it with these people and explosives? Jeez, people. Why do you have so many explosives on you? What were you doing down here anyway? Seems like they're just a bunch of pyromaniacs running around trying to kill each other. I can only guess that these guys have just as many explosives on them. Nobody cares about explosives. I don't care about explosives. Maybe these robots care about explosives. <laughs> I can search the little pile of ash. There's nothing on a little pile of ash. Come on now, people. Jeez. Anyway. Well, we've made it to the glow. We are currently making our way through the glow. And it is the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we will continue our investigation of the glow. We may or may not have what we need already. I think the thing that the Brotherhood sent us to get was, in fact, this dude. This seems strange. You think it may be what the Brotherhood sent you to retrieve. So very likely, that is what the Brotherhood sent us to retrieve. Very good. But we still need to continue our examination to see if it really was a missile that came in and wrecked house. Until then, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.